What's going on, guys? We got Cam over here. How you doing? <laughs> and today, we're actually going to be ordering a new vest. A lot of you guys have been, you, a lot of you guys always ask me what kind of vest I'm wearing. What am I rocking? And this is the first manufacturing vest. This is the one um, I've been wearing for quite some time. It's black with the copper top leather material. It's an all leather vest. And this is my club vest. And this is also first manufacturing, all in black. And I'll go over like all the details. And then I hooked Cam up with the leather top canvas bottom vest that he rocks on his bike. But today we got something pretty cool because we're going to be ordering some custom made, some vests. Custom made vests. Um, I was able to get both of us hooked up with the vest again from First Manufacturing. So huge shout out to them. So, but this is why I really want to make this video is because like this vest, it wasn't custom. Like you could buy this vest from First Manufacturing, whether it's a small, medium, large, extra large, or so on. Uh, this is a large, I think, right, Kim? Yes, this is a large. So you could just order that a lot of the vest straight from the store. And just to let you guys know, I'm actually doing a giveaway right now. If you go to www.cycle-fanatics.com, First Manufacturing is actually going to be giving us a vest for the giveaway, a leather and twill vest. We're also gonna be giving away a Beyond Riders. You guys know I love these things. Fully Kevlar lined flannel they come in so many colors and rurock is also going to be giving us one four atlas 4.0 carbon helmet to put into the giveaway so it's kind of gonna it's a pretty cool giveaway oh, no yeah, it's, very... it's like it's like a riding gear giveaway ready for these uh chillier colder weeks and months to come so okay, I wear all this gear every time i go out the jacket and you the should oh that's right he's rocking the rurock 4.0 carbon as well it's so you like it right oh yeah it's got the headphones got a microphone no but it. how does this sound how does the it music sound good. it sounds really good yeah right it's, it's like a good quality. bass right yeah, yeah, definitely. make and receive phone calls yeah, everything not really that you cool. should though <laughs> But it's, it's definitely a very, very good helmet. I use it every time I go. It, it really is. So those three items so far for the giveaway, uh, Beyond Riders Kevlar Line Flannel, Leather Twill Vest from First Manufacturing, and a Rurock Atlas 4.0 Carbon. All you got to do is head over to my website uh, and purchase a sticker or two or three or four, whatever you want. Each sticker will get you one entry into the giveaway and I'll be announcing a winner October 31st. So anyway, this is why I wanted to bring this video to you guys. Like I said before, that leather vest, uh, leather and canvas vest is actually, you could purchase that from the website, which is great. But this, what we're gonna do today is like the best thing you could do on their website and a lot of companies, I don't know if any have this, but First Manufacturing has this where you go onto their website, you go to the custom uh, vest builder, and all you have to do is give them basically your sizes. You're gonna tell them either by their chart, either, and I'm gonna go through all of this. We're gonna go through my vest and Cam's vest. So all you do is go through the, like, the size chart, and with the measurements that you take, you either pick small, medium, large, so forth, whatever, how big, depending on how big you are. You give them your chest size, you give them your stomach size and your waist size. So like I'm telling you, these vests right here that I've been rocking for quite some time, they look perfect on me because they are custom made. They are custom made to fit you specifically. It's not like you're just buying a vest and maybe like the, the shoulders fit good and the waist fits not so good. These fit perfectly. When I tell you perfectly, I mean perfectly. So that's what we're going to go over today. And then I also want to go over like a lot of the options that they have, because don't they have like a all lot of buttons. options? I mean, tr all the trims, the different stitching, the, the quilt <laughs> pattern, it's insane. The, the, fir the, fir the first time I told Cam to go onto the website, yeah, you were like, uh, he was like, there's literally like 30, 40 different choices and colors yeah. and um, you know, like the, I don't know, like the top, not like the top material, bottom material and like the pleating, it's like, and the oh, piping and the zippers and everything. Down to the, the inner pockets. So you can right. It's, it's crazy. So, so this is like a couple things that I do want to go over now. So we're going to be able to pick out 
the, uh, the top color of the vest. We're going to be able to pick out the bottom color. The stitching, the primary stitching, the secondary stitching, the piping. Whether or not you want reliefs on a side, see like I, I have to have these reliefs and I recommend that everybody get these because these reliefs, if you open them up while you're sitting on the bike, this way the vest doesn't ride up into your throat. Yeah. Like this vest, I, I've been watching Cam while he's riding, it kind of rides up a little bit on him because there's no reliefs. And then you kind of either have to ride with it open, right? Yeah, or kind of, or the snaps open right. at the bottom. Yeah. So that's what I would highly recommend, side reliefs. I usually get the zippered pockets right there because I don't want anything to fall out. I usually get the snaps on the chest pocket. I usually get because I am six, oh, that's another thing you got to put in your height. I usually get for my height, six foot two. I usually get the one inch plus one inch extended, which I'll show you. I also get the extended collar because I like that. I don't like the low cut. I want a little protection around the neck, which that one has. And this vest also has. What else? You got concealed carry pockets in here. Then you also have, you could get a um, phone holder pocket. And then these pockets I always take with the snaps. And what's cool, I don't know, custom interior. Like I have the... Um, American flag on the inside for law enforcement, uh, support law enforcement. And on this one, I just have kind of like a bandana, oops, a bandana back. So you could get either three panel, center panel. There's like, I'm telling you, a custom made panel. Like if you want a logo, your own logo printed on the liner, there's just so many things to choose from, but those are some of the main things that I just wanted to go over with you. So I'm gonna go over to the computer now and show you guys exactly what I'm gonna order for my new vest. There's a lot of colors uh, to choose from. I'm not gonna go too crazy because there's some pretty bright colors. Uh, I'm just, I think I'm gonna go simple and we're gonna see what Cam picks out because Cam's been That's doing this. Ideas, you got some good ideas. So we're gonna see what he picks out for his vest. And then in about five to seven weeks, that's what it takes to get a custom made vest. We're gonna bring you back another video to show you guys how they came out and how they fit. All right, so if we go to first manufacturing, I already kind of built my vest here, which I'll show you guys. And like right here on the right, that's how the process, let me move the camera over. That's kind of how the process starts. So for this top material, I have uh, black leather. As you can see, if I move the cursor over, obviously I'm not gonna pick white, but you see how the vest changes. If you pick the white top, then kind of the bottom portion goes white by the pockets and the top flaps on the chest pockets and kind of the area around the sleeve. But I'm going to, I'm not gonna, there's, look how many colors. There's just so many colors. And textures too. And, oh yeah, right. And textures, yeah. you got dragon, snake you got snake, too. right. Denim, canvas. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna kind of do a basic, uh, basic lead, black leather vest just with some nice options on it. So I'm gonna go with a black top material. I'm gonna click okay. Then I'm gonna go with a black bottom material. And then the primary stitching, I'm also, it's gonna pretty much be all black. So right here, um, we go to add collar. So I normally add, right here it says add one inch collar. Let me bring that a little closer. Then the zip out hood, uh, I don't go with the zip out hood, but you can go with a zip out hood. And then collar accent, I'm going to say no. Armband accent, I'm going to say no. But let me just show you if I click yes, if you want an armband accent, you could also have the armband accent in a bunch of different colors. You could have the chest accent slash pocket accent, which is these pockets right here. Waistband accent, which is down here. Like if I click on yes, um, then I could click. You see how it changes, but I don't want any accents. So I'm gonna say no to all those. And look how many textures, quilted textures, like for the top, 
that you could add. I mean, there are so many. I normally, I think I took the double diamond, no Cam? I think uh, that's yeah, how. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That's that's what my vest has. Yeah, uh, see that's, that's the double diamond right there. Yep, that's the exact same one that I have Very on my nice. other. Yeah. yeah, which is nice. I'm gonna go actually for the tuck and roll. I like that one, that's a good looking one. Yeah, cause it's actually gonna match the, my seat on uh, Mad Max. Oh yeah, <laughs> I get you. Right? Yeah, yeah. And then perforated bottom, I'm gonna say no. I don't want uh, the vest to be perforated. And then we're gonna click chest pockets i want them buttoned you could also have them uh with a zipper or totally remove them but i definitely want some pockets uh slash pockets that's these pockets right here i want a zipper on them because i don't want just in case i put anything in there i don't want anything to fall out um so now piping i'm gonna go with a black piping but let me click on white just to show you what they mean. It's actually piping uh, around the top and up and down and around the pocket, but I'm gonna stick with black piping. And then for the outer that is like on the side right here, I'm gonna stick with no piping. And then this is what I was talking about before, side zipper relief. I'm gonna go with only a zipper relief that goes up like about three to four inches. On my other vests, I had a full zipper relief, but I realized that I don't, I don't need that, you yeah, know, right. because you don't want to kind of unzip the entire side. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't see why you would want to do that. So I'm just going to go with a side zipper relief. You could go with laces or you could go with none, but I definitely highly recommend a side zipper relief. Uh, primary arm wrap, let me just show you what that does. You see around the sleeves, I don't want any um, arm wrap, you could obviously... A lot of really cool options there. I mean, yeah. If you got a theme going, it'll definitely be Right, exactly. So right here, uh, select liner material. I'm going to stick with a satin instead of a mesh. And then f I'm going to do the flags camo pattern. I'm going to do just the back panel, which is in the middle. You could do all three panels. Let me just show you how that looks. You see the difference? Um, I'm just going to do a back panel on this one like that, change it up about, uh, change it up a bit. And then the cell phone pocket, let me just put on keep cell phone pocket, which is here, but I never, almost never, um, put my phone there. So I'm going to, I'm going to remove it just to keep the vest kind of streamlined. Uh, you could choose the plat uh, platinum black leather, but I don't see Really, you can do it. That's gonna give you a 1.4 millimeter thickness on the leather. But honestly, the, the leather's really thick, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, yeah, so I don't... Same. It's a good thickness, because you don't want to bulk it up too much. But, right. Uh, you know, if you want a little bit of extra protection. So you it. can do that, but I'm gonna say no to that. Uh, V2 utility pockets, I don't need uh, those pockets or any other pockets. I don't, I, I'm trying to... I don't want to bulk the vest up too much. I'm gonna go with a full center zipper. Um, so yes to that, uh, all leather inside slash pockets. I do not want leather inside the slash pockets. Cause that's another thing that just bulks the vest up. Uh, just my opinion, add back armor pocket. I don't want that. Uh, you can have that obviously. So this way you could put a piece of armor back there for riding just to keep you safer. Uh, bullet snaps. I'm going to keep them. And then on the front, I definitely want a two way zipper. So. That's basically the zipper that runs all the way from top to bottom along the front of the vest. It's going to have two heads on it. So this way I could also use it as a relief on the bottom as well as zip it all the way up to the top during um, the cold uh, riding season. All right. So here, if you use this chart, so I'm a 44 in the chest, so I'm going to need a large. So that's why I chose large here. And then I'm also, because I know I've already ordered several of these vests, I'm gonna take the plus one uh, inches that kind of adds the length to the vest because I'm six foot two. We're gonna do the same thing. Well, we'll, we'll show you what Cam picks out. But if you're around six foot tall or over, I would recommend either go plus one or more. And then you can see my sizes right there. My chest is a 44, stomach 35, waist 35, height 
uh, I just put six foot one. And that's pretty much it. And then when you click on that, you have to agree to the terms and then add to cart. And then basically you have your entire vest details right there. So also guys, I have a code, use my code down below for first manufacturings. You'll, you'll see it in every video description. I believe it's 15% off your entire order, which is a nice uh, chunk of change off. They'll probably get you around like close to a hundred dollars off a vest and even more off your order. Uh, so once we have that, now we're going to go to continue shopping and we're going to go back to custom builder, which is right there. And Cam is going to show us, you know, which one, right? Oh, I know exactly. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's see what kind of magic you got. All right, we got some good <laughs> stuff cooking up here. Let's so, see. Uh, let me show you guys what I want. So top material, I'm obviously going to go with some black leather. That's what I'm into. I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, for the bottom material, I'm also doing black leather. I, I do like the kind of classic style of an all black leather vest. Um, for the stitch colors, I'm actually going to do a black primary, but a gray secondary, because I think that adds a nice little uh, bit of customization to it. You know How about I'm the baby blue? How do you... <laughs> All right, so I'm actually going to add a gray secondary stitching, because I think that adds a nice little accent to it. And... Uh, then I'm gonna go check out the collars. So I also do like the one inch collar. I think it yeah, adds a nice little uh, little trim around it. And I'm not gonna take the zip out hood either. I like to keep it a little bit basic. And uh, let's move on to the accents. So I've got some cool stuff for the accents, some cool ideas here. So for the collar accent, I was actually thinking about using the black snake skin. Cause I think that adds a pretty cool that is nice. little design. I think that looks pretty good on there. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the, um, the armband accent. I'm gonna also use the black snakeskin, and I'm gonna do the same thing for the pockets, the slash pockets. Just keep scrolling up. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So we're actually gonna add the same thing for the slash. You're not pockets. doing chest accent. No, no, I think that's a little bit too much. You know, I like to keep it kind of subtle. I don't want it to be uh, mm -hmm. too much of the same thing. So you know, you're I... doing black dragon or black snake. Sorry, black snake. I meant to click on. There we go. Nice. So I like the way uh, that looks. I think it looks pretty. That cool. does look. That's that. That's actually really nice. Yeah, I'm yeah. A little jelly. Right? <laughs> And, uh, and let's move on to the quilt texture. So for the quilt texture, I thought it'd be a pretty cool match to throw in the uh, the web texture. I think that looks pretty good with the snake accents. Uh, I like the way that looks. Nice little design on there. What else? What other ones did you have in mind? Uh, other ones I had in mind. I was looking at the uh, the tuck and roll, the same one that oh, you, you had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was pretty cool. I also like the double diamond. Looks nice. But honestly, my favorite has to be the web. I think that's probably the coolest looking. Cool. And it goes with the theme. Um, so I didn't choose any perforation either. And the pocket options, I would like uh, buttons. And I keep the zipper slash pockets. Nice. Yep. And uh, for the piping. Now, the piping, I didn't want to go overboard with it. So I did black uh, for the center piping. And uh, there's the outer piping. Um, yeah, which is like right here on the sides yeah I, I i i added it in but i kept it black as well nice i do like the the trim mm -hmm. but i don't want it to stand out you see there, there are not a lot of nice options you know i was considering the gray right maybe right. but I, I like the black you know the the gray looks pretty it's good for the it's always yeah it's classy and it's always going to look good it's right. it'll never be out of style All right um now for the side adjustments i am also did you change it back to the black yeah i like to keep your, it no you're stitching because that looks gray yeah i have gray secondary oh you do stitching. oh yep. that's gotcha, because gotcha. it uh, adds a little bit more yeah, of an yeah, effect yeah, yeah, for yeah. the um uh -huh. for the webbing you see yeah and uh i'm gonna throw on the side zipper reliefs as well yep instead of the full relief and the uh, arm wrap, you actually can't choose an arm wrap if you have a uh, trim on the arms. So, oh, um, really? Yeah, hmm. yeah, because it, uh, it's you can't double up on it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no doubling up. Right. Um, but I like the trim, I have on it better. So the inside liner, I'm going to do the same thing. Keep it satin, and I'm going to use the flag pattern 
Uh, I like do, the black are, and white. Are you doing center or three panel? I'm just gonna do the center panel. Oh, I yeah? think the three panels a little bit too much for me. I like, you know, like I said, I like yeah, to yeah. kind of keep it subtle. So is that the one you're doing? Yep, the black and white. I think it goes pretty good with nice. what I have. So I'm gonna keep that on there as well. And uh, they got a little section of the extra customization. So I'm not, I'm not using the, the platinum leather. I'm not using the utility. Um, I, I'm gonna full go with the full zipper. Yeah. Zipper, yeah. yeah. And uh, add leather inside slash pockets. I'm gonna keep it the way it is. I don't need it. Uh, no back armor pocket. I don't want to bulk, uh, bulk right, it up right. too much. And I'm gonna keep the uh, the bullet snaps on there. Mm -hmm. And I actually am gonna throw in the two-way zipper. I think. Sweet. You, that, yeah. you think that's yeah, a good idea? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So you could this way you could actually just open up from right. the bottom if you want. You right. Know? So more that. relief while you're riding. You know. Definitely. Uh, now let's go into the sizing here. So I'm gonna go with a large as well. Mm -hmm. Originally I was thinking about a medium just so it's a little more snug, but I do usually wear my vests over a jacket. Um, Plus you're still a young buck right, and you're gonna grow. I got, I got room to grow into, right? right? So I, I usually uh, throw it over the Beyond Riders jacket anyway. Um, so we're actually gonna, I'm gonna add an inch for the length. I think we decided to do that. Yeah, you... I would definitely. Yeah. yeah, because you're you're still growing and you're already almost six foot, so all I right. would definitely. All right. So uh, I'm gonna just throw in my measurements there real quick. I have it all down on on the uh, paper. Chest. You got caps up on me. Chest. Uh, Forty inches. Um, got stomach. Uh, Thirty-four. And we got uh, waist 34. And um, height. We're going to go with six foot here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we got all the custom measurements and put it on there. And uh, that's about it for mine. Yeah, and those are, that's what's most important is make sure you have the measurements correct. And I'm telling you, the vest is going to fit like a glove. And then we're just going to add it to the cart. Do you agree, Cam? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> How could I not? All right, so that's all done. We put the order in five to seven weeks. This is the Beyond Riders Kevlar lined flannel. So I also have Beyond Riders Kevlar jeans, Beyond Riders cargo pants that I ride with, uh, Beyond Riders Kevlar lined hoodie, hats, everything. So definitely all the links will be down below in the description. You could use the codes to Beyond Riders or you could use the codes for first manufacturing. If you wanna get in on the giveaway, just head over to my website. So like this, I love to wear during like the fall and cold winter months. I love to wear these flannels. And then I just, I just want to show you how it all looks and kind of how the zipper is and stuff like that. Cause you, you got to look good on your bike, right? You spent like what? You guys spent probably 40, 50, $60,000 on your Harleys. You got to look good with it, right? You can't, the bike can't just look good. You got to look good too. Uh, so anyway, really just a really comfortable riding setup. You know, you got the flannel for warmth. Also the vest keeps that wind, rain, cold air off your body. And this is what I wanted to show you guys. When I ordered this vest, I didn't order the double headed zipper. So now I can't use it as a relief. So when I want it zipped up during cold winter months, I got my mic under there. So when I have this zipped up during cold winter months, I can't use that as a relief. So now this side relief right here, you see how the side relief, you could choose to have the side relief go all the way up. I didn't do that on this vest coming up. I have it on that vest as well, but I don't need for this zipper to come all the way up. I just need a side relief. You see, it opens that much. And then when you sit on the bike and you have your legs up with this relief, it doesn't push the vest up into your neck and throat area. So I got the double headed on the front zipper and the side relief on a the side. These are just snaps, which I like. I don't want a zipper or anything like that on the top. And then these pockets 
also have a zipper because if I put something in here, I don't want to lose it when I'm riding because the vest sometimes starts flapping, whatever, or just the wind will suck something out of your pocket. So I definitely want the side pockets to have a zipper, but these vests, super, super high quality. You could see like the double diamond pleat on the top and I'll show you guys the inside. And let me tell you, I'll, I'll show you guys these uh, Beyond Riders flannels in a second, but like this has both sides, the conceal carry pockets in here. Okay. If you want to, if you guys want to carry, and then this vest has the three panel satin liner. So, you know, I like it on the vest that I I'm just getting now that only is going to have the center panel. I just wanted to change it up a bit, but, uh, yeah, so many colors, so many styles, uh, so many different patterns you could choose for your custom made vest. But let me tell you, if you want a, a great flannel, Beyond Riders is your ticket. I'm telling you, you got zipper right here, right? This has a zipper on it that opens up. It gives you relief. You could close the zipper. You have two snaps. This is all Kevlar lined. You got snaps on the top pockets. You have a full zipper throughout the middle with snaps and they're super, super comfortable. And there's so many colors to choose from. So definitely check them out. But uh, thanks for watching this video. It was pretty cool doing this uh, with Cam and ordering another vest for him. He's gonna be super happy, I'm sure. And in five to seven weeks, we'll bring you that video, show you guys how the vests came out. So this way you guys could make kind of your own decisions on like the 30, 40 options that they have. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out.